Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Morocco. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Joao Cancelo starts with Rafael Guerrero as fullbacks. Ruben Neves plays alongside Bruno Fernandes in central midfield. And leading the attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And here's how Morocco will line up. Yassin Bounou is the goalkeeper. Hakim Ziyech plays with Sofiane Bouffal in the wide positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And the match is underway. Joao Felix Bruno Fernandes Ronaldo not the easiest of situations for the keeper and now the delivery credit to them for winning back possession Felix body in the way Ronaldo, and beyond the last defender, offside. <laughs> Sofian Amrabat. Bufal. And he read it well defensively. An attack full of promise. It has to be. And it's in. We've just witnessed the first goal of this 2022 World Cup final. One to save us. Well, here's the replay. And just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And Fernandez's finish is excellent. He times his run. He finds that bit of space. And he was never going to miss that. Hakimi Unahi Well, he's given us away Could be a chance to break here Well, it petered out Not problematic for the keeper Bufal. He's given it straight to the opposition. Room to manoeuvre on the wing. Will he finish? And there it is! A two-goal comes 
action now and just look at these fans the trophy coming their way surely well here it is again and the pace in which they break forward is devastating it's so hard to defend against and then it's a top class strike from Bernardo Silva his technique is absolutely spot on just look at the power he generates here moving again 2-0 is how it stands well, keeping it on the ground slightly off target however the high press was on and that's a fantastic tackle can he get one back no way through it's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here Delivering it. And the keeper making sure that there were no scraps to feed on for the attackers. That is how to apply the pressure. Bruno Fernandes. Well, as expected, Portugal have had more of the ball so far. And they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football. And they look like scoring more. Now can they win back possession and create something else? A foul, but advantage played. Azadeen Unahi. In with a chance. Well, I'll tell you what, he knows there's room for improvement. Well, he knew exactly what he wanted to do, but the shot was way off target in the end. Bruno Fernandes. That's a splendid ball from Ronaldo. Well, a nearly moment, just over the top. Bruno Fernandes, perfectly positioned to take it away. Buffal. Could play it in. Beautifully disguised ball. Just the clearance that was called for. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter attack. Well, he could be in trouble now. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Bruno Fernandes. On to Silva. Neves. And now Guerrero. Well, we really have to call that a squandered opportunity, Stuart. Well, what a waste that is. It's far too easy for the keeper. He should have made him work harder there. Unahi. Ziesch. This looks promising. Throw ins given. Ziesch. Well, tremendous block. Cristiano Ronaldo. And he's in. Well, the chance looked to be on, but found himself offside. Giving the ball away. So, one minute of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes has it. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. Well, they've got things going again here, and I wonder what kind of second half we have in store for us. A chance maybe from the wide position.
Bruno Fernandes. On the ball, Rafael Leal. Portugal looking dangerous. Can he finish? And a fine stop. Leal. Well, that's a well-timed pass. Another goal! And surely there's no way they can throw this away. Absolutely dominant. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Hakimi giving them a different option by moving in field firing it in and the keeper was up to the task and played short and with that the attack fizzles out Can they hit on the break? Asking a lot to score from there. Goalkeeper's ball. Well, we have 30 minutes to go. Bruno Fernandes and intercepted it. Ziyech. Buffard. And return to Ziyech. Can he put it in? Leal. And showing good defensive judgment. Ziyech. Giving the ball away. Leal. Ronaldo. Goalkeeper in charge of the situation. Delivering it. Well, putting it wide from there. A pity, really. Well, as those stats tell us, their attacking play today has been exceptional. Defenders have come out at the right time, midfielder completely dominated the game, and the front player's movement has been excellent. An incisive pass. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looks so promising. Fernandes. Take it away. Yahya Atiatala. Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And Nesiri. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Amala. Ziesh. Surely. And the shot just over the top. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Attack will peter out. Keeper's ball. 
Well, five minutes remaining, but you just feel this is over already. An inability to keep hold of the ball there. Abdelhamid Sabiri. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. He has teammates around him. Terrific block. Played over. Well, the danger is still there. And problem solved for now. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Oh, he's through here. A goal! And I'll tell you what, on this sort of form, very few would lay a glove on them. Well, let's take another look, and you have to say the defending is so poor, that's far too easy. The keeper had no chance there. A lopsided contest, 4-0. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today. Portugal, the world champions! And this is finally Portugal's time. Fully deserved. Best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.